Trackers, welcome to a track FM. Uh, today's video is sort of a, I guess, a kind of a part two of my last repair video. Um, a viewer had asked me to uh, show how the uh, playback head height adjustment is done on my Pioneer uh, a track player, which is uh, the Pioneer model. Give me a second here. Uh, HR99. Uh, I'm assuming they probably have the same model or something similar to it. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Just give me a second here and we will uh, get going on that. So, this here is the unit that I spoke of, and uh, I, I forget the name of the individual that uh, made the suggestion, but I will. Uh, I will leave a, a uh, photo of their comment in the video as well for you guys. And uh, a, big, a big thank you to uh, to you for for, uh, um, for the suggestion of, of this video. Two screws are very itty bitty, and uh, there we go. Very easy to misplace. So if you're if you do have this in this unit, you'll want to keep very, very close watch on, of them. Okay, so let's pull this cover off. Put it off to the side. Whoops. And we'll get back to the uh, process in, in this moment. So on this unit here, the adjustments for your head for your playback head height adjustment is done by this screw right here, and it is done with a fine tip. Phillips, and I will demonstrate that. See, we uh, went to a different program of audio. And what you want to do is you want to find the best fidelity or best sound when you're, when you're doing your, your, uh, your adjustment. Once you've found it, you just stop. Now you may have to go back and forth a couple of times just to make sure that you found that sweet spot. But that's Pretty much how how that uh, goes with the Pioneer. Just for an added bit of help, thought I'd throw in this picture as well, uh, with a, showing a circle around the exact screw that you'll want to adjust. So if you have the front of the player facing you, it'll be the screw on. It'll be your left side. That you'd want to adjust and you will see a spring wrapped around that screw that just keeps tension on the screw to, to uh, decrease it, its chances from coming out of, out of adjustment 
Another thing that you'll want want to uh, watch out for when you're main when you're doing any, any kind of any kind of maintenance on your players is that little fall splice. Those often fall off your your tapes and land anywhere in the machine. Definitely definitely don't want that to to jump across any other contacts in in your player. That could make make for a bad day. Just saying. And, you know, I just had another thought while I'm at it. Uh, this Pioneer is has a, I think, a rather unique and very nice design. Uh, if you ever need to change your belt, you have this little piece here that is normally sitting right here. Well, four screws, that comes off. And your motor and pulley with uh, and belt obviously are all right here so if you ever need to change your belt boom right there so I'd like to uh, send a big thank you to I believe the name was Dan Den Dan Denhofer or Den Denhofer uh, for the suggestion on this video uh, thank you for um, for reaching out to me and uh, I hope that this this, this video helps you and uh, anyways take care and uh, actually I should say and I, I hope this video helps anybody else that may be looking to make this uh, adjustment to their pioneer as well anyway guys y'all take care and keep on tracking hey guys just thought I'd mention before we close out here that I also have an eBay store, so if you'd like to check that out, feel free. I'll leave the link in the uh, description down below. Anyway guys, take care, happy tracking.